welcome to this Sony Vegas Pro basic series for Creative Cow. In this series I'll be producing what I hope will be short tutorials which go through the different features and the different tools and the capabilities of Sony Vegas Pro, a professional level video editing application. So that you can get going with the application quickly, you can discover things that might be somewhat hidden and you can learn all the ins and outs of using this powerful piece of software. But before we actually start, I just want to go quickly through the different options that there are. As you can see, I'm at the Sony website at the moment. And you'll see that there are three versions that I would uh, look at. We've got the basic editor without DVD creation options. So if you're just looking at producing video that you're just going to go on the web and you're not actually interested in producing DVDs, then that's something that you can have a look at. It's a very competitive price. And then we've got one that includes the ability to be able to create DVD and Blu-ray discs, if that's what you need to create. Of course, you can still create content for the web and what have you, but this also includes the ability to create DVDs and Blu-ray. And the best value of all, I think, is this one here, which is the suite, which includes some additional bits and pieces. And if I just quickly show you on their site, as well as including Sony Vegas Pro with all the DVD architecture and what have you, it also includes the ability to integrate with HitFilm, which is a superb compositor which allows you to add special effects very quickly and very easily. It's also an additional item that can do, say for instance, 3D extruded text and you can have that inside of Vegas Pro very quickly. It also includes integration with Sony's SoundForge Pro 10 so you can fix audio problems and as soon as you've fixed it and you've saved the file, it'll update back in Vegas Pro and it's got some titling options, it's got some batch processing options and additional bits and pieces which make the price very competitive for everything that's included. So if you already have Vegas Pro, look out for update deals to go to the suite which gives you these additional bits and pieces. Alternatively, of course, you can buy the individual items such as HitFilm and SoundForge Pro 10 in addition to what you have here. The other thing I want to say is about Creative Cow. If you're not watching this series on Creative Cow, can I encourage you to do so? It's free to watch your tutorials on Creative Cow and you can download podcasts. You see here there's a podcast tab. You'll be able to download podcasts of all these tutorials which you can keep and view in the future at any time you want to. Tutorials are found under the Tutorials tab. There will be a Sony Vegas tab added very soon, so you'll be able to go straight to Sony Vegas. But if you click on Tutorials, you'll be able to go down at the side and you can find all the different ones. So if I go right down, you'll see there's Sony Vegas. So there are tutorials there and Sony Vegas Basics, which are what I'll be working in. But as well as the tutorials, what I'd encourage you to look at is the forums. The forums on Creative Cow are very well attended by professionals around the world and answers are given very quickly. And you'll see that there is a Sony Vegas and a Sony Vegas Basics tab to look through on the forums. So if you have problems or issues that you want to be addressed, you can go to the forums on Creative Cow and put your questions in and you'll have professionals answering those questions very quickly. So can I encourage you to come and use Creative Cow? There's always interesting articles. There's always new information coming up all the time and it is a very powerful site. So if you're not watching on Creative Cow, can I encourage you to do so because you can find them here and you can download podcasts to keep for later. In the next tutorial, we'll start looking at Sony Vegas and looking at the user interface. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.